Thank you all for having me, thank you. We like to not only contribute money to help Chrysalis go on to give everyone a helping hand, but I like to personally come down here in downtown Los Angeles, as well as out in Santa Monica and chat with you all, uh, because I was where all of you guys are 30 years ago. JP, to be successful, especially when you're down and out, and things aren't really going good for you, is there a secret to it? What are some of the keys? What are some of the things we could remember? And when things are really bad, will help us overcome them. And I'm gonna give you two little sayings that I have. The first one is this, be prepared for a lot of rejection. Be prepared for so much rejection, you had no idea what you're walking into. If you are prepared for a lot of rejection, you're not gonna take it personally and you're not gonna give up on your fifth or your 10th or your 20th interview. The second thing is successful people do all the things unsuccessful people don't want to do. Example, I knocked on 100 doors. On door number 101, I'm just as excited, just as enthusiastic, just as much believe in myself and what I wanna to present to them as I was on door number one. I didn't get discouraged as we went on and on and on. Successful people do the things unsuccessful people don't want to do or have a very difficult time doing, guys, very difficult time. And that is keeping yourself going when nothing's working, when everyone else is saying no, 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 no. Character is on your job, what you do when no one else is looking. But if you have a job with anybody and you do it as best as you can, not what you're supposed to do. Sure you do that, but go overboard to do whatever you're supposed to do the very, very best you possibly can, the very best you can. And they may not see it in a month, they may not see it in a year, but eventually someone's gonna see and say, wow, that is one successful person. Success, guys and girls, is not how much money do we make, how much money do we have. Success is how well do we do what we've chosen to do in life. If you chose a particular career, how well do you do that? If you choose a home and a household to be in, how well do you take care of it? If you have a car, how well do you take care of your car? But success is doing your best at everything you do and not doing the least amount that you have to do. That's the big difference right there and a huge difference indeed. I don't care what you have in life, no matter where you are in your life, there will always be somebody that needs it more than you do. So whenever you could give as little as it might be, or whether it's of your own self. I, I know my, my 20s, in my early 20s, I didn't have a lot of money, but at Thanksgiving and at Christmas, I'd be in Griffith Park in the lines at the feed-in. I'd be feeding people. They came in the lines there. I was there at the feed-in. I could serve really good. I could cut a turkey so cool, man. I got really good at that. I was a good server. It made me feel good because I was part of giving back. As you are part of giving back, it opens you up. It opens you, the human being, up in a huge way. You as a, your soul, the entity inside of you, opens up. It's the most amazing thing. It's not about poor me, 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 poor me. No, I'm gonna get in my little corner over here. Poor me, it's about, hey, I'm gonna give. I may not have any money, but I'm gonna open that door for you. You need a helping hand, I'm gonna be there for you. I'm gonna lend a helping hand. Your whole being opens up when things like this happen. Hey guys, thank you very, very much. And a nice break and some bread with you. Thank you.